Greetings one and all, how's everyone doing? I hope very well. Had a little camera trouble. Um, welcome back to Cat Center Wednesday. Um, hope you're all having a good week. Uh, gonna be making, uh, well you saw the title of the video, I'm making corned beef and hash. I gotta, where is it? I gotta, it's not who hash, but I got some corned beef. Picked this up at the store. Probably only gonna be about half a can, so I'll make this again tomorrow night for dinner, off camera. I got some uh, home fries going. And I wanted to talk about my home fries real So quick. I like to boil my potatoes first because I just feel like I like the way they come out. I feel like they come out better. They cook a lot faster because when I throw them in the skillet with a little bit of oil and some seasonings, uh, they cook up real fast. They're cooked all the way through. I don't have to worry about spots. I don't have to stand here constantly stirring them so they get even cooking and they taste good to me so you know if, if you got another method by all means make them that way but i worked in a lot of restaurants so what we would do is we would cook big pots of potatoes and we would just cube them up and then put them in the cooler and then we'd make home fries that way and i've always liked the way they came out so that's why i do them at home too potatoes just put clean through so get my cast iron skillet on there get a little olive oil give these guys a drain get these guys in here I'm also going to go ahead and run my corned beef yes I know I'm putting two things in one skillet but it's all going on the same plate anyway, so I don't see why I can't cook potatoes on one side, hash on the other side. Oh, oops. A little salt action. Oh, I got too many heat down. Go ahead and throw the usual right, so seasonings on here. A little bit of Old Bay and. Um, a little bit of sloppy mama and then some gr uh, granulated garlic. Everything's cooking up nicely. Got to make sure he's already getting some color around it. I already stirred everything off camera, so I'll, I'll do it again here in a few minutes. butter on the potato side and get that melting and I'm going to turn on my skillet and get my egg pan going. All right, what I want to do is I want to make some cheesy home fries. Give me that cheese. Oh yeah. I'll kill that far enough. I may have jumped the gun on the cheese. So let me go ahead and pull it out. Let's see if they'll not break this time. Sweet, didn't break. Excellent. Of course, I need oh, I black pepper. My all right, I had that commenter from the other video disliked my egg flipping too but eh whatever 
it worked. It gets All the right. job done. I want my eggs over easy, so. Right on top. Oh yeah. Also gonna add a nice English muffin. There we go. Corned beef and hash with a sourdough English muffin and two eggs over easy. Remember that this time, no meal is complete without Texas Pete. Just gonna drizzle it all over. Oh yeah. Ah, man. Of course, I like the busty yolk. So it drains all throughout the meal. I don't want to burn my mouth, but... Oh. Oh, yeah. Get that little bit of crunch element from the corned beef. The uh, creaminess of the egg. The spicy of the uh, Texas peat and the black pepper. Mm. All right, I'd like to go ahead and take this opportunity to thank you for watching. Don't forget to check the playlist, which I'll link to the inscription, also the end for Cast Iron Wednesday. Um, other people have been doing Cast Iron Wednesday, so maybe they could give them a look as well. I'm going to go eat dinner. I'll see you next week. Have a great one and uh, keep cooking.